Uh, panda, panda ideas. So what is panda? Come shows. Uh, we have a saying in Estonia, a very good saying that good, uh, good child has many names. So it, it is a panda because that's how panda, pandas look in the internet. Uh, it also is called upright side control. Um, you can call it upright turtle also. In wrestling, it's mainly you can see it in a sit out position that people do it from turtle. So, uh, what is it? As a position, how it's built is you have that turtle elbows here. And you know, if somebody's giving pressure, so the point is that very tight, or if I get in, they pummel. And always this, uh, because all the, all the, so to speak, high positions, let's say turtles or pandas, they're kind of high, so they're um, acceptable for pushes and pulls. But the idea always is that I have to keep Tom here, because if I just take the pace off, Tom can just go invert, yeah, and pull guard, yeah. Or also Tom can just go tuck one leg and just go away and just turn around and create space. So I think about like uh, somebody is in side control, but like the other thing. Like my goal, if I say this, my goal is to you know keep him here. If I in any case they just take the weight off and start to just do this, he just goes away because he can't. So my job is to keep him here. The same as turtle also so panda. So usually uh, you should have like pressures here. And then it's about, I'm, I want to get cradles, we have to defend that. I want to get, you know, neck, I guess, cr cranks also, chokes, and I'm going to seat belts. And also I will learn that I will get like front, you could get like front headlocks, and you can attack this way. And the main point is to keep this position, yeah? And then connect it to everything else we have, the hawkings, everything. So let's say if I end up pulling it, Tom can fall, I pull it this way, Tom can fall the running relief. He's not able to stay in you know, Panda and then I do something, then boom, just run. Or maybe, you know, if I pull him back, he can fall to hockey. And then everything continues. So all the positions that have height, uh, they tend to be, yeah, like I said, acceptable of pushing and pulling like a turtle. So we have to manage that. And uh, usually what problems do they make? What problems people have is uh, they, you know, how about somebody pulled me back? Because if there's no pressure, you should, you know, just go away. So my goal is to keep you here. That I, I don't want, I want to, you know, maybe get side control, get the hooks in, all, all that stuff. Also, mentioning hooks, that if that happen, if the space is covered, there's usually, Tom can use it for different kind of guard pullings, like waiter sweeps and everything else, or he flares out his elbow and then kicks the hook out, yeah? So I do it myself, so I can explain. So, so if I play here, I can flare out. There's a space I have to manage, but I can keep the hook out. But if I'm, if they get the knee over, so that I can, you know, use with different clicks, I can use it for guard car pulls. So all kinds of those attacks are there. And uh, how do you use it? Let's say in side control, well, why it happens, let's say. Let's say in side control, let's we play hawking and the weight is more towards the hip. Yeah, because now it's hard to pull guard maybe or do something, so I do this. And now if they go to my back, I go here. And then from here, I hip heist, I pull guard, I stand up, I do stuff. Also, it's not that strange also, uh, let's say, when, when you do Torandos, if Tom grabs my pants, there's defenses in Jiu-Jitsu that if they grab my pants and pass, I sit up, you know, and then I pull guard. But also we have to train for occasions where when Tom does this fast and then things go wrong, what happens then? And I have to you know, survive here. So uh, in that sense, it's one of the side, side control, side bottom position that I would say you have to have. Of course, maybe turning in is in a way better, but sometimes not possible. And you don't want to stay flat. So that kind of turning away and you know, we have a hawking, we have a running man, and then also we have a panda. And the uh, panda opposite, in a way, is butterfly guard. So we have here, this, and uh, the fun part that actually has happened to me quite many times in sparring is, let's say if I play, I play butterfly guard, and we play here, and uh, you can say like a panda is the first side control that happens after they pass. So if I don't do anything, I end up here. 
Okay? Because if they do the pass, okay, I don't see a point when when they do this and then you know I can go here, I guess, but if I don't do anything, I right away have that situation that I stay here. Yeah? So so that's kind of in, in some situations, Panda can be like a first side control defensive structure that they meet. And uh, interestingly, in IBGF, there's no, you know, if you turtle, do something, uh, force people to turtle, they get advantage, but Panda is not in a position, so technically it should not be any, any advantage also. Uh, and the other philosophical question is why somebody would play Panda, why somebody would, you know, turn their back. That's totally different discussion. Um, what we advocate here is that we know both. We know how to turn in and play side control turning in, and also we have to turn away and survive there because clearly back exposure happened and we better know what to do there. And actually, it's, the structure wise, it's quite strong. Uh, and this is all Eduard Botella's inspired, so also watch his work. So that will be like a good introduction to Panda, I guess.